up y'all welcome back to another video i thought it would be really interesting this week to take a look at what we eat every night for dinner monday through friday during the work week typically we have time to prep things out and uh plan a little bit better but last night my husband and i both worked for a church and we had a late gathering so it meant our family was at work from 8 30 a.m till 7 30 p.m and i say my family because my two kids and my pregnant self, so my three kids were all there. Um, that being said, we're starting this video off really poorly because we got takeout tonight. It was just one of those nights where I had a headache, I was tired, I wasn't feeling good, uh, and we were late to get the kids because we ended up working a little bit later today on a Monday. So we ordered some $30 Chinese and just said, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. But that means that tomorrow's food will be tonight's dinner that we were supposed to have. So tomorrow for dinner, we're gonna whip up some vegetarian lo mein with some tofu in it. So to make that happen, I went ahead and I pressed a block of tofu and I uh, just took a plate, wrapped it in a paper towel, pressed it with a cast iron for a little bit. That way it's already drained because that's like a 20 minute process and you just don't wanna do that when you get home. So, went ahead and took care of that for tomorrow, and for now, I'm just gonna go relax and enjoy my family, and we will see you guys on Tuesday when we're back to cooking. Glad you're here. Zeke, what are we having for dinner tonight? I have some pasta. Yeah. Welcome back to Tuesday, back to actually cooking. Um, I am going to make a veggie and tofu lo mein today using these rice ramen noodles that we got from Costco. I haven't tried those before. Um, so really fast, I'm going to whip up a marinade for the tofu and, uh, get that marinating for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put it in the air fryer. I've actually already got my veggies all prepped up um for this dish so while the tofu is doing its thing in the air fryer i will make the veggies and the sauce for the lo mein and then uh cook the noodles and then throw it all together at the end so let's hop in While the tofu is marinating, I've got a pot of water on to boil, and I'm gonna get my caraway pan heated up. And then in just a minute, this shouldn't take much longer, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the air fryer. I'm gonna make a lo mein sauce, two tablespoons of regular soy sauce, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, a teaspoon of sesame oil, and a teaspoon of sugar. And then I will use ginger and garlic as the aromatics in the actual pan. Dinner is done. It was okay. I still haven't figured out my Chinese lo mein situation. Um, but I went ahead and made some rice for tomorrow's night, tomorrow night's dinner because it is our small group and so it's gonna be a little chaotic, especially if I'm trying to film. So I didn't wanna to have to worry about waiting on rice. So I made some rice for tomorrow and tomorrow we'll show you what we do. For now, good night. Welcome to Wednesday. It is our couple's small group night. So we are making a vegetarian stuffed poblano. Um, I am chopping up some onions right now. I've pre-minced some garlic during our weekly meal prep. You saw the rice that I made yesterday. Currently the poblanos are in the oven roasting um, so that they soften. So I'm gonna make the filling on the stove 
And then we'll stuff them, shred some cheese, and put them in the oven to heat through and melt the cheese. Sorry, I'm out of breath because welcome to being 31 weeks pregnant. Um, we're also gonna make a really simple salad with probably just some tomatoes, cheese, carrots, whatever. And then someone's bringing chips and salsa and somebody else is bringing dessert. So let's jump in. and Bryson went ahead and shredded up some cheese for me and now he's doing dishes, true MVP. These have been roasting so that they soften. They look really good, so now we're going to stuff them. When I make this dish, Zeke does not eat the poblanos. Usually the poblanos are pretty mild, but sometimes they're too spicy also. So I just portion out some of the filling for the kids and they love it and it works out really great. So let's get to stuffing these peppers. tripod so sorry about that but here are the final products before we put them back in the oven to melt and then I will put them under the broiler if they don't get brown enough the kids are munching away and these are out of the oven when everybody gets here I'll pop them under the broiler and broil them up here is the super simple salad we made just lettuce tomato carrots and like a honey mustard vinaigrette. So that was just me throwing together some uh, Dijon mustard, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little bit of maple syrup. So yeah, this is our dinner for tonight. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, we'll see you for tomorrow's dinner where it's just me and the kids because Bri has a men's event at church. What's up? Welcome to Thursday night. We are solo, just the kids and I. Uh, Bryson has gone to a men's event at church tonight. So I'm going to make a really easy dinner. It's going to be just air fryer salmon and some roasted broccoli, and then I'll give the kids some fruit also. And we've got big feelings because we're really sad that dad left. Um, so we're not feeling too happy about dad leaving. Which I get it because I also miss dad when he's gone. So let's hop in. I've already got my oven set to 425. And then we'll get the broccoli roasting. And then we'll preheat the air fryer. And then do the whole zhuzh. Spices. We're gonna put on the salmon, some pepper, some salt, onion powder, paprika, and garlic powder. Just super simple tonight. All right, finished salmon out of the oven. So I'm gonna divvy this up between the kids and I. We have a couple of sad strawberries left over, so I'm gonna give these to Valley and Zeke, and I'll show you what their plates look like when we're all ready to go. She's hungry. Here are our collective plates. Zeke's plate, Valley's plate, my plate. So, here we go. This is our dinner for Thursday night without dad. Welcome to Friday final day of the week. If you didn't know that Friday was the final day of the week, we are heading to my in-laws tonight. We're actually celebrating Valley's birthday because she turned one on Wednesday. So I went ahead and made a lemon cake with a lemon curd filling and just like a simple vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream. And so we're going to have that tonight. And I think my mother-in-law is making chili. Um, I will throw some shots of all of that at the end of this video. 
but I think this is where we're going to end it. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with us and seeing what we do for dinner in a week. And I'll make sure to post more of these because I always find it fascinating, especially on weeks when I actually get to prep during the weekend. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please consider liking it and subscribing it and we will see you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. Uh,